Hey everyone, I hope you're well. This video is sponsored by EA. Now it looks like we have sort of like a really close look at the map. Nice little overview here. The brand new map. So we're just going to take a look. This is like the preview thing. So it's not even going to be available after the trailer premieres, right? So this is pretty exciting. Massive trees, beautiful lakes. This place looks a very build of detail. Tropical areas. Little caves. It's beautiful. I wonder what's hiding under that. Giant crabs. <laughs> it's like Elder Scrolls. Uh, interesting. Big spaceship. Wow. Big wind turbine things. Look at those giant plants in the background. This map looks so dense. Like, look at, there's so much detail, like, everywhere. What do I want? Okay, so those trees, I want to know if you can fly to the top. New buildings. Very beautiful. Look at this. Look at the beach. It's beautiful. There's the lightning in the background. Yeah, look at that. Reacting to the wind. That is very cool. Wow. Massive jump cannons crazy spinning things now that is the color i like uh oh it's getting spooky it's getting real spooky it's about to happen here we go deep in the oceans of gaia oh there is a land rich with history and this up a bit Wow. The air crackles with energy. So much to take in. They call it. Wow. Ashen game. Oh. Didn't have a mask on. Creepy. Storm point. Like uh, in the Bangalore teaser, right? A big boy jump thing. It's the only way to travel. Oh no, the quality! Trailers! Spiders! Terrifying new map, Storm Point. Wow, look at that, P.Y. There's so much, like... This map... There's so many... Oh my god, okay, there's tridents as well. Watch out or I'll grapple you. Fence in position. Avoiding battle pass, ruthless battle pass. Okay. Ah, oh, tier 100 uh, prowler, car. Take both ammo types. Wow, Ash looks very cool. One of her finishes. So much going on. A tactical car in action. That is cool. This map looks crazy. That was ruthless. Is that it? Whoa, look at that skin. It's so much going on. They're playing twice. It is. Oh no. Alright, so luckily the audio playing in the background didn't cause any issues. So there isn't a map bug yet, but there is the Ash character page. This is a very cool uh, picture. I love the way that she has her little cracked faceplate. That's really cool. Um, so she's 121 years old. So I was a little bit wrong. Um, you know, the time zone's a bit crazy, the whole time frame thing. She's not 300 years old. She's 121. Uh, real name, Dr. Ashley Reed. Let's have a look at her abilities. Arc Snare. Throw a spinning snare that damages and tethers the first enemy who gets too close. Marked for death. Ash's map shows the location of recent death boxes and marks surviving attackers. And then phase breach. Tear open a one-way portal to a targeted location. So, um, that's pretty interesting. 
as we saw in the trailer, we saw the tactical, we saw the ultimate. Ashes map shows a location of recent dev boxes. That sounds actually very strong, especially for high level play. Arc Snare could be good, depends on how it's balanced. Tactical of the ultimate seems kind of similar to Wraiths. It looks very cool. We'll see how it's kind of balanced in game. But yeah, pretty exciting stuff. And then we got some Ash screenshots. Any interesting skins? Look at the map. It's so, so awesome. Look at that. That is very cool. Wow. All right, here we are. Finally, the Storm Point blog. Now, here is a amazing look at this beautiful map. There's so much going on. So we saw, saw the ship. We saw some POIs, but it was so hard to focus on all the different POIs, for real. We had um, a look at this beach area. We had a look at some other areas. So it's like you have a beach down here, then some trees, and then it goes up and up and up and up into the mountains. And there's two, like, big, weird capacitor-type things. And then maybe even another section all the way over here. I guess we just read it. Rodney Reese is on this map. So this is the guy who made World's Edge. Uh, it's about 15% bigger than World's Edge. Now I'm just going to go through the basics here because um, if you want to read it yourself, you can. It's going to pick up the big points. Wide variety of device locations, tropical island hopping to giant mountain slides. And yeah, the dra gravity cannons. All the redeploy boons, balloons are gone in their place of the gravity cannons and they're an excellent method to outrun the ring. Step inside of one and it will launch you in a predetermined direction. While traveling through the air, you have pitch control and can land to the sides of the receiving points of the gravity cannon to avoid traps and other dangers. You also have complete control of your weapons, grenades, tactical abilities, and ultimates when traveling through the air. That sounds very cool. Look at this map, by the way. There's so... M it's beautiful. Look at the sky. There's flyers around. Into the wilds. Uh, so we've got AI. We've got prowlers. Aggressive creatures that hunt in packs can be found in prowler dens. Uh, they aren't too friendly to uninvited guests, so you've got to keep your distance. Okay. Um, spiders. Spider eggs are scattered around. Um, don't disturb the causing damage will disturb the spiders inside. So you gotta leave them alone if you don't want to have spooky spiders chasing you. Um, the range web spitting enemies. Wow, they attack from afar, squishier than prowlers, so they take uh, less damage to kill. They're quick and scurry around, and we have flies as, to, uh, as well. Rules and trophies of the hunt. The wildlife nests are denoted by their red markers on your mini map. Bit more on the types of rewards you'll get. So smart loot drops. On death, prowlers and spiders have a chance to drop attachments and ammo based on your weapon loadouts. And, uh, you also get consumables and other goodies. So that's a really cool system. It's kind of like a mini lifeline ult, to be honest. It's going to make lifelines out even more pointless. But anyway, Evo points. A small percentage of all damage dealt uh, is rewarded to your Evo armor. That's really interesting. A small amount. Um, yeah. That's got to be balanced right, but that's kind of cool. I like that. Crafting materials. Clearing a nest rewards a crump lump of crafting material, uh, materials, which are <laughs> divided evenly among each squad member in the nest at time of completion. So if you go solo, maybe you get a ton. That's interesting. Points of interest. We have barometer. Uh, we've got command center. That's interesting. Excellent method for getting to the top of the mountain while protected using a network of the longest zip lines in the Apex games to date. We've got the antenna. So beautiful, man. Checkpoint. Lightning rod. Look at that. That's a giant balloon. Uh, storm catcher. Look at that giant slope. Dude, there's so much. North pad. That's an interesting area of like trenches and stuff. More beaches. The mill. Shipfall. Okay, Hestia, this is the ship that Bangalore crashed, uh, or her crew crashed. Senna Cave, that looks like a place where a lot of spiders will be. The Wall, High Point, Thunderwatch, Cascade Falls, Launch Site, Fish Farms, Gale Station. All of these places don't have screenshots. Now, they may come. Uh, Spill-off camps, design talk. There are 17 named locations on the map, but if you play, pay close attention, you'll notice near these drop locations, there are smaller camps. When you're dropping at the start of a match and see a drop location overwhelmed with players, look around, you may notice a smaller camp nearby of Great Loot. That's really good. It, it looks like this map not only beautiful, but it could be a really good competitive map. 
That's so cool. It looks so good. It looks just so bright and colorful and refreshing. I'm so excited for this. Thank you so much uh, for watching. What do you think of this map? I'm excited. Let me know. I'll see you in the comments. Cheerio.